In July, the Government of India released its census data of 2001 to 2011. Though the fact that the information was released eight years after data collection surprised many people, what made the statistics interesting are the numbers on Chinese migrants. During the 10-year period, the number of overall Chinese migrants fell from 23,712 to 14,951. The number of Chinese who stayed in the country for two decades or more declined by over 50% from 11,588 to 5,164. The sharp fall in Chinese migrants is attributed to two reasons. The first is that the economic prosperity in China has thwarted many locals from migrating to India. When a Chinese person migrates to the US, he can save significant money and send it back home due to the higher value of the American dollar. However, such an advantage does not exist in India. A Chinese person will only be able to earn roughly the same or even less than what he or she earns back home, making the case for Indian immigration very unattractive. The second factor is the drop in Tibetan refugees in India. After Beijing created a sort of digital prison along the Indo-China border, Tibetans find it increasingly difficult to cross into Indian territory. As a consequence, the number of Tibetan refugees coming to India has fallen from about 3,000 per year in 2007 to just 80 in 2017. The fact that India does not count the children of Tibetan parents as Chinese migrants but as Indian citizens is also responsible for the lower numbers. Plus, Tibetans already settled in India are leaving for better opportunities in the West. Tibetan refugees in India are often at a disadvantage. Due to their citizenship, they face problems in buying properties or starting businesses. Since many live in rather insular communities, they also find it difficult to integrate into the mainstream. Tenzing Sonam, a filmmaker who has documented the Tibetan conflict in China, said to the South China Morning Post, India is also strengthening its border defense. In January, it was revealed that the government planned to build 44 new roads close to the Chinese border at a cost of 2.9 billion US dollars. The roads were proposed to be constructed in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Himachal Pradesh, and Uttarakhand. The construction of new roads will give India several strategic benefits. First, this will bring connectivity communication facilities and economic activity to border areas. Second, it will ease the military movement. Third, the transfer of military equipment will be faster once the roads are in place. The transfer is presently time-consuming due to disassembling and reassembling, according to Jayadeva Ranade, president of the Center for China Analysis and Strategy. Over the years, there has been a significant drop in Chinese migration to India. So what do you think lies in the future for these awkward neighbors? Share your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more videos on China and its growing impact on the world, its freedoms and culture. Hit the notification bell and be sure to share our news content on social media for a better informed network. Until the next time, be well.